Well, at this time of year, there's two things which really stand out when you're out here in the clover. One of them is the incredible mass of insects. And some of them are just, they're like sci-fi. They're just incredible to see. They've got amazing colors. And honestly, they look like monsters. That's one thing that I'm gonna try and capture on film. This clover is a spectacular place for finding some of the insects because it's absolutely full of them. And the other thing I'm gonna try and capture on film is some of the little tiny birds that are eating them. But of course, I'm not gonna get anything from this side of the camera. It's just fantastic to be in a summer meadow in the summer. I mean, what can be better? It's full of clover, full of insects, These crazy coloured caterpillars, absolutely beautiful. And wherever there's caterpillars, obviously, if you hang around and you know it's the right time of year, you're going to find the butterflies. So much coloured, so much beautiful. You really have to make the most of these lovely summer days. It's interesting just getting up close to some of these guys. I mean, they're incredible looking creatures, really. And what I wanted to do was have a look in the woods as well and see if I could find some of the birds that are making the most of all the insects. So obviously there's quite a lot around unusual. There's a green woodpecker here making the most of an ant's nest and some young flycatchers. And they're just eating the little insects that are living on the birch leaves. Obviously these birds, they're all timing their chicks and their young to the time when there's going to be most insects around. And actually it's pretty easy for them to make a living when they leave the nest. There's little bugs everywhere, enough to keep them going anyway. This family of little noisy wrens were right in the dark in the bottom of the hedge. And something else that I wanted to find around there, I wanted to find these wrens, which are a real, I mean, they're pretty little things, aren't they? But also the thing that you kind of think of most as summer, the most typically British summer bird, I guess, swallow. And so it's nice to catch a few of them sat on the wires. These ones are just singing. They're already nesting. I love watching the swallows. And this sparrow shows just how easy it is to catch insects because they're not normally great insect catchers. But there's so many around at the moment, it's easy for them. And this is my absolutely my best find, a little family of baby goldcrests. Oh, I absolutely love them. And goldcrests are my favourite bird to try and film anyway. They're so tiny. They're like the, like our version of a little hummingbird or something. They're so cute, so tiny. And this was a family of four or five chicks all sat on a branch so I could see them close up. They're only like big bumblebees, absolutely beautiful little things. And a good bit of timing here as well because after they were there for one day the next day they were flitting about in the branches and after that they were pretty well impossible to film they were darting around all over the place right up high in the trees but this way meant i actually get to film one of the parents coming down and feeding them uh, little tiny spiders and little tiny insects and oh, so pleased to find that because this is a bird that's really difficult to film normally and even though they were shaking around on the leaves it was just a real thrill to be able to get four chicks all sat together, all in a line. These are birds, by the way, you can, you can see all year round, but just at the moment when they're really busy, it's a good time to go out and see what you can see because they're all hunting insects in the woods. Perfect. 